Hello. Hi, Rusty. Hi, Goldie. If it's not one project, it's another. There's always something going on at the Schmidt house. That's my last name. We got our chicken coop. And we got these free boards. Well, they didn't cost us anything, so and I made the whole coop out of it. We have a lumber mill just a couple blocks away from us, and these are the shavings, the stuff that they get rid of, and they just give it away every week or two, so we always grab stuff. And then I stick them together and make like a two-by-two two out of them, so to speak. And so all we had to do is pay for the screws and stuff like that for it. But Kelly, she wanted an extension off of the chicken coop. So that's what I got going on here, trying to finish it up. And uh, and then this was a dog house that Kelly, she's like, can you turn that into a chicken coop? The dogs never used it anyway. So I had a, a pallet that I built just a simple dog house on. And then I punched out the sides and I put these on then I put a little window up there to help vent it and an access board there and uh, this is how we check our eggs that's their little nesting boxes inside there the side opens to also and uh, And then this is how we were able to clean the thing out. And then down here, well, we got some electrical. We had Christmas lights on it in the winter time and some little nesting things for them to sit on. Oh, we got acorn, hello. It's like, what are you doing? Close the door. <laughs> time to clean their coop again. Here's the little window I was talking about. Closes there like that. But yeah, it's been fun. Opens. And uh, so I'd love to work on my cars all the time, but sometimes you just got other things you gotta do. Right, Rusty? Like, play with me? That would be great. Go get it. <laughs> okay well let's get this done I have a duster to build and a chicken coop to build <laughs> thought I'd show you guys the finished product of uh, the chicken coop instead of showing you the uh, progress of everything. I got the wire buried under the ground. I got the wire put on the roof. Uh, it snowed last night. It's melting already. Uh, I built a little door inside there so we can kind of separate the chickens if we need to. Cause they're always picking on each other. I got the trim and everything painted all the way around it so it's finally done, so now I can focus on building the duster for the no-name nationals. Now, if you're wondering what the Omega M for Mopar is on there, I turned 50 about a week ago, and Kelly wanted to decorate um, for me for the party, and so I... She wanted it to be a surprise, but she couldn't quite do it. So she told me what she wanted to do. And uh, cause we had a campfire right over here, a fire pit. And uh, we had this all lit up with the Christmas lights on it. I'll show a quick little segment of what it looked like. So she wanted to do that for me. So anyways, that's what we got going on. So now I can work on the car. <laughs> But she also wanted to put the lights around the chicken coop so when she took off to run some errands for my party she i went ahead and decorated it and put it on the chicken coop so that when she got back she's like what 
it's on the chicken coop. I'm like, well, <laughs> she goes, only for your birthday we'll do this. So anyway, uh, that's our chicken coop. My wife is showing our friends the addition that I built on there. So she has a, a light on her head. <laughs> So anyway, I thought I would get a video of our chicken coop with the Mopar, the Omega M on it. 